Good morning, Phoenix High School. I'm Jacob Grace. And I'm Jesse Schaefer. There are some important announcements today, so listen close. Sparrow Club, there's a meeting this Wednesday. Angie and Antonio will be here to take a picture for the yearbook. Be in room N, 420 at 1230. Please eat lunch before 1230 because Antonio can't be around with food. And all members, please go to room N, 420 before Wednesday to sign a card for Antonio. There are four jars out by the office, one for freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors, and staff. The students who donate the most money will win spirit points for their class. Here at Phoenix High School, we encourage students to be prepared for life after high school by remembering to always be safe, respectful, and responsible. This message can get lost from time to time, so Victoria Comstock, Riley Nichols, and Kat McLennan created a segment to remind us why it is important to act in this manner. Here at PHS, there are three rules you should follow. Be safe, be respectful, be responsible. Cat, cat, look, look, I found some scissors! What? This is what not to do. Cat! Wait. Cat, cat, look! No scissors! What? Try to avoid running in hallways. Be respectful of students and teachers. Oh, oh God, you smell! Oh, oh it was a little too much of a shower! <laughs> Again, don't do this. That's just plain rude. Something wrong? No, everything's fine. Uh, sure, have a seat. Alright. Uh, so, what I would do if you just let me know who that student is, um, I'd be more than happy to talk to that student. Any concerns for other students can be dealt with with the help of a school counselor. ...and work with their family, um, and so if you just want to let me know who that is, we can start to work with them. Hi, right, thank you. Yeah. Be responsible and come to class on time. When calculating the gross domestic product of a country's overall economy, you must hey, consider sorry, can I borrow a pencil? how yeah. one utilizes can, can I borrow some paper? Okay. Can, can I borrow that book, you know? I can't borrow that. Really? <laughs> can I borrow some pants? Why do you need me? No, no, okay. This is just ridiculous. Don't do this. That's correct, more or less. Try to follow these rules. It makes everybody's life a lot easier. Be safe, be respectful. Hey, cat, look! I found the scissors! And be responsible. Haven't gotten your free money yet? <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, sorry. We're down the wrong pipe. I mean, completed your FAFSA for college? Well, if not, get your FAFSA done as soon as possible and receive the highest dollar amount for college. For help, visit the College and Career Corner. Also, the reps are back. In case you missed it, the Imani, Institute, the Imani Institute of Cosmetology for the first time, the Imani reps will be back here on January 23rd to give you more information about their beauty and pretty much everything else they have to offer. Sign up at the College Corner. Sounds like some great opportunities. Speaking of great opportunities, if you speak, read, write, and understand Spanish, sign up for the Credit by Proficiency test uh, with Ms. Mathers or Mr. Lucas. They will test approximately 25 students at a time, so it's a first come, first serve exam. We will give you a date in January when you'll take the exam. You will learn, or you'll earn anywhere from one to four years of Spanish. Sounds good. There are a lot of staff members here that don't get credit for what they deserve. We have this video to show them the recognition that they do deserve, so roll it.
Hi, my name is Ramez Akil. I am the attendance officer at Phoenix High School. My main job here is to make sure that I keep record of the students' attendance, also watch their truancy, and um, kind of look it up every once in a while and see if they are lacking in terms of attendance and that the truancy letter will be basically submitted and sent to the student's parents so they can reply back to me and have the students coming time. I usually show up to class, I mean to my office right here, I first thing I start is just look up the schedule and this is what the program would look like. So I, this is the, I use a power school for all the students' names. I get messages through the evening and these messages are just uh, either excuses to be done during the day by parents. So in the meantime, I, I do uh, keep control of the teacher's attendance uh, on a daily basis. Some of the, some of the times that the, the attendance are missed by a teacher, so I have to take care of that and make sure it's, it's fixed. That's the majority of the things I do. I'm Brenda Seely. I'm one of the librarians here at Phoenix High School. Um, Mrs. Sessions is the other librarian. She's not here right now. Most people think that librarians probably just check books in and out, but my day's spent doing a lot more things, many more things than checking books out. If you want to follow me, I can show you some of the things that we spend a lot of time doing. Most of our time is spent working on the computer labs, assisting students to, when they have problems, usually printing problems, problems with the computer lab or need help with paperwork. Um, that takes up a big part of our time is this computer lab. We schedule it, we help teachers get scheduled for it. Um, we spend a lot of time helping students find books when they're looking for something good to read or they're looking for items for research. We're more than glad to help them find that. Um, we do assist teachers in making copies and um, getting projects ready for classroom use and that pretty much fills our day. In the in any extra time we just do anything we can to help out with anybody here. Um, I guess what I, we're most known for here in the library is being able to help students make sure that they can get their work done on time and if there's an issue, help them get problem solved. Good afternoon, my name is Denise and I work here in the office at Phoenix High School. I am the records clerk and the receptionist. I handle stuff from the front office, I answer the phones, I help students, I help parents, and I help staff. I also, um, with records, I uh, take incoming students and I request for their records from the school that they're coming from. If they're going to another school, I send the records to their school that they're going to go to. I also do the immunizations and make sure that the students are up to date on all their shots. And I love working here. And I love seeing old students and new students. Thank you. Hey guys, my name's Courtney Lucas and I work in the College Corner. And I work actually for a program called TRIO. TRIO works with students that'll be the first in their families to go to college. And it's a grant funded program through the Department of Education. And uh, it's actually a grant that's held by Rogue Community College. So they are technically my employer, but I'm based here at Phoenix High School. I work with students at Talent Middle School, and I actually also serve students at Central Medford High School. Um, on a daily basis, I'm meeting with TRIO students. I'm meeting with um, kids to talk about college admissions, making sure they're jumping through all the right hoops. And eventually, I want to make sure that they're figuring out a way to pay for college uh, through the financial aid process. So I'm also, when I'm not here, I'm working with those kids at Talent Middle School in Central Medford. I might have a staff meeting on occasion out in um, White City at the Rogue, or excuse me, the Table Rock campus. Um, so ultimately I'm helping kids access college and who may otherwise not have had a chance to go.